Alrighty guys, so today what we are going to do is we are, we are going to do a versus video against the Flex uh, Turbo Hammer Drill versus the Milwaukee Fuel Hammer Drill. I do thank TTI so much for sending me this uh, pullover. Uh, I like it. It is from Under Armour and this is embroidered, so it, I actually uh, I like it. So I thank you so much uh, TTI for sending me this. But today we are going to do this versus video. When it comes to what this channel does, this, this channel does versus videos like this. Like if you're not looking for this type of versus video, you're watching the wrong channel. All right, so let's go to the specs of these really quick. We are also going to do concrete at the end. It's going to be a good one. I'm actually curious to see on how well these actually perform against each other when it comes to drilling through concrete. So let's get to it. All right, so first we have the Milwaukee. This is model number... 2804-20. Now I will say this is an older hammer drill. Uh, Milwaukee really needs to upgrade this. Yeah, they really do need to upgrade this. This uh, this actually isn't that powerful a hammer drill. It is powerful, but there are more powerful hammer drills out there. So Milwaukee, get on it, upgrade this. You might have done that already, but we'll see what happens in, in the future. All right, so two speed settings. This goes to zero to 32,000 beats per minute when it comes to the hammer feature. On speed one, 550 RPMs, and on speed two, 2,000 RPMs. This has a 14-point clutch, plus two, which the plus two is hammer and drill. Anything outside of that is screw. We'll say Milwaukee has a nice compact design. Uh, it is the smaller, it is a smaller hammer drill compared to the other hammer drills. We will be using a six amp hour high output battery. Battery is full. Single LED light on the base. Fully metal half inch, uh, half inch fully metal chuck, and that is the Milwaukee. And remember that this is fuel. All right, then we have the Flex. Now this is model number FX1271T, 24 volt system. Milwaukee's 18 volt system. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. So, uh, two speed settings. Speed one is 550 RPMs, and on speed two, 2,000 RPMs. Half inch fully metal chuck. This has a 24 point clutch. And it has its own separate transmission for hammer, drill, and screw. This is a nice hammer drill, and I really do like it. I can't wait to get Flex's impact driver, a uh, brushless motor. And so, yeah, this does have a turbo button, which with turbo mode on, the RPMs and the uh, beats per minute go up. And with the turbo mode on, this goes to set, uh, speed one, 700 RPM, so that's 150 RPMs more. And on speed two, 2,500 RPM, so that's uh, 500 RPMs more on speed two with the turbo button on. All right, so let's see what these could actually do against each other in this situation. All right, so we'll check the battery at the end of the video. Battery is full. It's on speed two, it's on drill. One and a half inch spade bit. I use self uh, feeding uh, spade bits because of these will actually uh, take over once I pull the trigger. All I have to do is hang on. All right, so ready, go. Time. I do not know what the test results are until I edit the video. Turbo mode is on. Not sure if you can see that. Turbo mode is on. It's on speed two. It's on drill. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Time. I will say this, in my normal videos, I do not use a one and a half inch uh, speed bore. I use one and a quarter, because this one is too intense for like a real test. This one is circumstantial, so I do not use this in regular videos. We have a one and a half inch speed bore right, oh uh, sorry, a one and a quarter inch speed bore right here. Speed two, it's on drill. Right here is good. All right, so. Ready, go. Time. Oh, and I'm so sorry. I forgot to show you guys. It is time for the flex, and I do apologize for not showing you the battery life. The battery is full. Sorry about that. All right, so right here is good. Turbo mode is on. Speed two, it's on drill. Ready, go. Time. Next we're going to do is to drill three holes with a three quarter inch 
Drill bit. The goal of this task is to drill three holes nonstop. If uh, either tool stops for the for any of the three holes, it failed the test. All right, we'll start off right here. All right, so ready? Go. There we go. Because this actually is a hard test to do on speed two. Especially doing three holes nonstop. All right, let's, uh, turbo mode is on. And if this does fail, I will tur uh, turn turbo mode off and then, uh, then I'll redo it. Just in case if the turbo mode is too much RPMs. Ready, go. We're going to redo that. All right, ready? Go. Yep. I don't know what that extra vibration was about. It's on drill, it's on speed too. So ready, go. It did it though. It doesn't matter. It, it did do it. Next, we're going to do one six inch lag each, and then we are going to do one 10 inch lag each. Do the Milwaukee first. Now, both of these tools will, will require speed one. Speed one, ready, go. Wow. Time, it did it. All right, so next let's do flex. It is on speed one. Turbo mode is off. It will not help it in this situation. Ready, go. You can do it. Time. Time, time, time. That was, it did it. It did it. it. It seemed like it needed assistance from the communication with the battery, but it was able to do it. All right, so ready? Ready? Go. Time. I'll stop it at the right time. All right, so ready? Go. Whoa. Time. I'll stop it at the right time. It is a it is a powerful tool. It is a very powerful tool. Right, so next, let's upgrade to the 10 inch lag. Ready? Go. Time. Did it. Did it. All right, so ready? Go. You can do it. Oh, you can do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Time. It did it that time. It did it. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Well, let's see if Flex can take this out. It is on uh, drill speed one. Turbo mode is off. All right, so ready? Go. Ooh. You can do it. It, it did it. It did it slower, but it did it. Not too shabby, Flex, not too shabby. It is a powerful drill. It is, it is up there in major power.
All right, next we're gonna do a half inch hole in this concrete. We are using Bosch uh, bits. For flex, turbo mode is going back on. Gotta switch it to speed two, hammer mode. Make sure hammer works. Yes, it does. Hammer mode, speed two. Hammer function work. Yes, it does. All right, we will do the Milwaukee first. Ready, go. All right, now based on my experience with Flex, I think Flex is gonna win this one. I think Flex got this test. That felt slow. Now, the last time I did a hole with Flex, it was actually, it felt very fast. So I think Flex is gonna win in this one. All right, so uh, speed two, uh, hammer feature, It turbo mode is on. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Yep, I think Flex got that one. Flex did beat Milwaukee in the hammer feature. I, I'm just, uh, that's how I feel. Because uh, actually, if if Milwaukee lost, then that means if the Milwaukee lost by a couple of seconds, then that means the Ryobi would also beat this Milwaukee's hammer drill when it comes to concrete drilling in, drilling this hole. Not too shabby at all, you guys. When it comes to these two, I did, based on the test that I did with the Flex versus Ryobi, that the Ryobi actually kept up with the Flex. And so if the Milwaukee lost by a couple of seconds, that means the new Ryobi hammer drill would, and with this bit would actually beat the Milwaukee. So, all right, just so you guys know, this is not the only video that we're going to do of this. We're going to do more tests and a different type of test. 100... 101, 103, I'm not sure if you can see that, but 103 for the Milwaukee. Yeah, so the Flex actually, 87. So the Flex actually ran cooler than the, than the Milwaukee did. And so yeah, so this video was to show you guys the difference between these two. Now, uh, now the Milwaukee actually does have better batteries. Flex has an eight amp hour battery, so I do need to get an uh, eight amp hour battery for the Flex and we could redo this test, 100% uh, fair. And so, yeah, but when it comes to this turbo button, that's a nice feature to have, you know, because you can turn it on and off as needed. You know, just like the Milwaukee has a nice feature that you could buy uh, a good variety of batteries in a different way because they also have high demand batteries other than high output. And so, yeah, so like, so both tool brands has their ups and downs. That turbo button is nice. I like that, that that's, a good, that's a good feature to have to if you need a little bit more boost, a little increase in RPMs, then there you go. So the next video I'm gonna do against the Flex is the Makita XPH14. This is a nice hammer drill, I like it. It's not the most powerful one, but I do love this hammer drill. And so yeah, so it's a nice drill, so this versus video coming up, so please subscribe to the channel, you guys. And so yeah, this video is fun to do. I love doing these videos, and so yeah. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>